This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh. Welcome along. We're going to look at some basic curve fitting in this session. So you might have imported some experimental data into MATLAB and want to find a line of best fit for that data. Now MATLAB has a lot of powerful curve fitting options, but in this session we're just going to look at the basic fitting options found in the figure window. So the first thing we're going to do is import our data into MATLAB. Now in my current directory browser, I have some data that I've saved called quad fit data. If I double click on that, you'll see that I now have two variables in the workspace, X and Y. So moving back to the command window, I'm just going to plot those variables. And before we do any fitting, we're just going to annotate the plot and prepare the data. So we'll turn on the interactive tools and we'll select the data and remove the line and plot markers so we can see the discrete data points. We'll also give the data a name. We'll call this experimental data. And we'll label up the axis. So now we're ready to do some curve fitting. And the place to do that is the Tools menu and the Basic Fitting option. And it's a pretty self-explanatory window. The first thing to do is check that we've got the correct data set selected. And in our case, we can see that that's correct. Now we have a list of different fits that we can try. And looking at the data, it looks like it might be a quadratic fit. So let's try that first. We can turn on the equation of the fit, and that's displayed in the figure window. Now there's also an option called Plot Residuals. And a residual is the difference between one of the discrete data points and the corresponding value on the fitted curve. So ideally we want to minimize the residuals to achieve a good fit. The residuals should also be randomly distributed and should have a zero mean. And that's the case here. So if we go back to the basic fitting and just have a look at what happens if I choose a fit that's not very good. So for example, if I uncheck quadratic and try a linear fit. Now you can see that that does not fit the data very well. And that's reflected in the much higher residuals and the fact that they're now not randomly distributed and don't have zero mean. So let's go back and choose quadratic fit. And we'll also turn off plot residuals in this case. So before we finish, we're just going to annotate the plot some more to make the curve that we've just chosen stand out. So let's just select that choose a more vivid color and a slightly thicker line style. And we can change the name by double clicking its entry in the legend. And we can turn off the interactive plotting tools and we're now ready to save the plot. This production is copyright, the University of Edinburgh.